If you're a bride or groom to be, chances are this is the one person you look up to for all your wedding shopping. Ambika Anand, the last word in everything and everything wedding. The lady needs no introduction, and now she is here to introduce you to Dubai, the most desired shopping destination when a wedding is on the cards. Ever wondered what D stands for in a D-Day decision? In fact, the biggest one leading up to the wedding celebration. Wedding. It's one of the most beautiful occasions of your life, but one that just might be a lot of hard work. Whether it's demure or to dazzle, whether it's dainty or dynamic, every wedding always begins with one thing: a shopping list and the beginning of endless decision making in a limited time. So don't let the stress get to you. Take a last-minute pre-wedding holiday that doubles up as the ultimate shopping extravaganza. And I would suggest that you do it with a little help from your friends in a place that will make shopping easy and fun for you and your besties. So in the next 72 hours, I am going to help you spot the must shops and the must stops for your wedding. Through this episode, I will help you find everything you've ever dreamt of for your wedding, from invitation card accompaniments to gifts for friends and family, from clothes for your trousseau to jewelry for every single function, bags, makeup, accessories, a special something for your better half. Wow, this list is literally endless. So I've picked a destination that has a solution to every single thing on that daunting list. Get ready to be dazzled by one of the most sparkling cities in the world, Dubai. Just over three hours away from India, I'm in a city that is home to the biggest brands with the largest variety that few places in the world offer. Traditional souks, hip boutiques, unique shopping areas, and over 95 malls. This is any girl's dream come true. Now it's super thrilling to have such a large variety and endless options to choose from. I would highly recommend that you be organized and know exactly what you need for your trip to be a success. Let's start with the very basics. First on my list, shoes. I don't know any gang of girls that don't bond over shoes for your big day. You and your bridesmaids may want to put your best foot forward. Level Shoe District is a not to be missed destination on fashion's global map. With 96,000 square feet, you can choose from over 250 brands. When you are at the Level Shoe District, you need to head straight for the bridal suite. This place has created a dedicated bridal capsule collection to make you completely aisle worthy. What I love here is the attention to detail. There's a blue sole, and there's a blue gem embedded onto the base of the shoe. What it signifies is the age-old wedding ring for good luck. Something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Trust me, you give a girl the right shoes, and she can conquer the world. Good shoes take you places, and these ones are taking me straight to the bags. A concentrated dose of serious back shopping can only do you some good. No matter how many you have, they are always less. For a bride to be, a bag to match. Each of your 11 outfits from the trouseau is all you need. And while you're at it, bags make for some fabulous gifts for friends and family too. Talking about gifts, another useful gifting idea is perfumes, fragrances to please all senses. 
Translucent, opulent, beautiful, tempting, the world of fragrances is simply irresistible. In Dubai, there is a whole world of ancient, natural and organic perfumes that last a long, long time. You can also find international brands that have added a collection of oud based scents to their modern range of perfumes which definitely make for unique and useful gifts for your guests. I would say sneak in one with that wedding invitation. Oud, a fragrance that the people of Dubai absolutely adore. Interestingly, it comes from a tree in India. This fragrance has a lot in common with the Itra back home. They're both beautiful natural fragrances. And now it's time for you to articulate your sense of smell and make it a part of your big fat Indian wedding. It's so interesting that a lot of my friends come to Dubai to pick up Oud and uh, some of the locals just told me today that the best part about Oud actually comes from India. Is that true? Well, that is uh, correct. Actually, the best quality of Oud is coming is from agar wood, which is implanted in part of India. All right. And we use it as part of our uh, tradition here in UAE. Especially okay. in special occasions, in weddings and other occasions, we like to use wood here. Uh, even in India, actually, they use ether, which is a natural fragrance, on guests when they are entering a wedding. Yeah, that's true. Actually, for wedding time, like all people like to use like very long-lasting oil, essential oils, and wood is one of the most long-lasting. No matter how and where you plan your wedding and what the rituals are, whether it's a grand affair or a small ceremony, this is the most important time of your life. And to make this experience extra special, I'm going to help you find indulgent gifts for you and your partner to add to your trousseau. The fact that under one roof you have all the major jewellery and watch brands, this makes it the perfect address to pick up that one fabulous gift for yourself or your partner. Exclusive, exquisite, indulgent gifting for your partner on your big day has to be as special as they are to you. Tell me about your most exclusive watch. It's uh, GMT wall time, quartz moment, and other side is two time zone automatic. Ladies, this one is for keeps. Like your man, a timeless gift is what you need for a commitment of a lifetime. And how about a little something special for yourself? I think the set is beautiful, but if you're intimidated by the size of it, I'm sure you have the option of only picking up the earrings or just the necklace. So how many carats of diamonds are here? Only the necklace is like uh, 70 carat. Then it will be your engagement ring. Boys, I hope you're all ears now. Beautiful. I think it's a great cue for all of you watching. If you already have a round diamond, I think a second diamond should be an odd shaped, whether it's pear shaped, heart shaped. Well, I've only scratched the surface. There are so many endless options around me. So whether you want to pick up something for your wedding functions, for your trousseau, or something just to gift, the options are endless. Shoes done. Bags done. Perfumes, done. Gifts for yourself, done. Hey, even gifts for your better half, done. After shopping at the mall, I decided to head to one of the many boutiques in Jumeirah. Label 24 is one of the Indo-Western fashion clothing stores that boasts of 24 international, Asian and Arabic fashion designer collections. Well, if you're a fan of the clothes in the films Ram Leela and Bajira Mastani, you're in luck because the creator of those clothes, Anju Modi, retails her collection right here. 
bling in a trousseau is given, but as a bride, you need to shine like the brightest star. Pick something that sets you a class apart. All the girls who are looking uh, to shop for their weddings, get ready for their weddings and trousseau shopping is essential. So in terms of the silhouettes and the colours, what would you recommend for all the young brides out there? Uh, instead of wearing the normal lehengas or the saris, they prefer wearing the long jackets with the gharadas, they prefer wearing the crop tops, those real embroidered skirts with long trails, they prefer the Indian embroidered uh, evening gowns, Indians love Pakistani clothes and vice versa. Take this piece. Pakistanis are very popular for the A-line cut. It doesn't look very Indian like our Anarkalis or it does not look very Western. Plus this whole A-line look does make a girl look two sizes small. Really? Yes, it, it is beautiful. These are very popular among the Indians for the wedding wear. Yeah, I was going through it. It's quite stunning. In Pakistan, still, the designers, they stick to the hand embroidery. I can't think of a better way to spend my afternoon than skimming through an endless selection of fabulous fabrics. All the clothes are done, made in Karachi, the workmanship is done there. So most people would pick up a minimum of 11 clothes uh, as a part of the trousseau in India. In terms of colour palette, what would you recommend? Reds and fuchsias, oranges and then I would say do some icy blues. I see pinks, if it's a winter wedding, do golds and silvers and maroons. But what about the grooms? We can't forget about them. Now, can we? Boys, you have to match up to your gorgeous bride and designer labels like Rocky S and Ravi Bajaj are there for you. Grand, luxurious, opulent. That's what Dubai Diaries has been for me so far. For a wedding shopping safari in Dubai to be an absolute success, you need ample time and space to decompress. In other words, you need the perfect hotel room like this one. I'm at one of Dubai's newest and chicest hotels, St. Regis. Just the kind of place with space that you and your friends need. Wow, a spa in your suite to rejuvenate you and your besties. When you are wedding shopping, you need to pay attention to finding the right place for some uncompromised pampering. And what can be better than a spa right in the comforts of your suite? And if that wasn't it, also on offer, a private butler, as well as exclusive entrance and exit access to your suite to make sure that you feel like the ultimate A-lister that I'm sure you are. That indeed was an indulgent experience and now it's time for my date. I'm off to the walk at Jumeirah Beach Residence where you'll find an array of vibrant restaurants and cafes to choose from and I picked this one. I would recommend that you take enough breaks while you are on a shopping spree. Because a little dose of sweet is a sure shot way of getting those energy levels up. I'm here in Cafe Batir. The menu here is fairly healthy and that's not surprising because the parent company Batir started off 25 years ago in Saudi Arabia specializing in dates. Dates are a huge part of the local culture. It's not surprising because dates are packed with antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. And if you're watching your weight, there's good news. Each date has only 23 calories. So now I can enjoy this milkshake and date cake completely guilt-free. It's not just my love for dates that's got me here. I do remember I have a mission to accomplish. No wedding is complete without ending on a sweet note as a goodbye gift. But why bother with distributing unwanted calories when you have dates? If you're looking at gifting options, consider dates. They slow down the aging process and I'm positive the people on the receiving end would only be grateful. Luxury boxes customized to match your wedding night's theme will make this an affair to remember forever. They are also perfect accompaniments for your wedding card. This store is great in terms of finding options 
uh, you have dates with the traditional nuts, you have dates with figs, you have date cookies, you have dates in a fruit cake. And with that, it's a wrap on my date with the dates. Now all that's left to do is to doll up for that perfect evening out and hey, which girl doesn't feel relaxed after an indulgent session at the salon? Ladies, this is the part of my research for you and I'd say it's totally worth it. While on a pre-wedding shopping holiday with the girlies, you can indulge in a makeup session. Because looking good can only result in feeling good. And while you are at it, you could also buy your favourite brand of lipstick or the right shade for contouring. Hair, makeup, nails. It's all about attention to detail. Because you know as a bride, all eyes will be on you. All you need to do is make it worth their while. If some of the most advanced specialization in nail art and embellishments are on offer, why not give in to the temptation? I think Swarovski crystals can easily make you shine through your special evening. Nails and makeup, check. Hair, check. This has definitely made it to one of my favorite hotspots when in Dubai. The first word, the first thought, the first imagery when you say Indian weddings and Dubai in one breath is gold. I'm at the Gold Souk and this place is on the must visit list of every Indian in Dubai. This place is massive but there's an art of how not to get lost here and to tell me that I have with me my friend Nisha. Nisha is a luxury lifestyle blogger and will be a perfect guide for me, for all things shiny, for a bride to be. There's so many people who come here for their pre-wedding shopping. Dubai is also a great destination Don't we know for it? weddings. <laughs> so what's the attraction? I have a personal story. When my husband, the then fiancé and I were choosing our destination, we looked all over the world and we had a bucket list, you know. Great uh, venue, hotels, should be top class, uh, service, um, beach wedding and then after surveying all the options, we came back and we said, let's do the wedding in Dubai. Because Dubai seemed to tick all the boxes. Now, a lot of Indians love coming to a place like the Gold Soup <laughs> for the wedding shopping. Indeed. Why? I mean, look around you. If you want Italian jewelry, it's there. Indian is very much there. And you know that there's a seal of authenticity for anything you buy here. Which bride doesn't want to stand out, right? True that. Now, this place is massive. Give us some quick tips on how to get your shadi shopping done quickly. All right, I have three. One, come prepared. Tip two, actually survey all the options before you decide on anything. And really, my third tip is stop and treat yourself to like Indian chai or something along the streets. Like, enjoy the experience of Dubai while you're on a mission to get stuff done. Great. I hope all of you have jotted down those <laughs> tips. So, Nisha, why don't you take me to your favorite store here? Let's start there. Souk in Arabic means market and this can leave you spoiled for choice. Some believe that approximately 10 tons of gold is present at any given time in the souk. Let's find out. So why do you like this store? Who needs clothes when you have jewellery like this? Seriously. These are statement pieces, right? You can have the most understated outfit and just a strong piece of jewellery. Well, this is like playing dress up at Dubai style. Nisha, I have a question on behalf of all the brides out there. When they come to so shopping to Dubai, what is it that they should look out for? Stick to the basics for 80% of your collection. So go wow with the statement pieces, 20-25% of what you buy, and the rest of it should be stuff that you can mix and match. How pretty is that?
I would like to gift this to you right now. It's very pretty, actually. <laughs> Are colored stones now, according to you? Should they be in the list of must buys while Tusa shopping in Dubai? There will always be a market for solitaires, always. But if you're the kind of person that wants to make an impact, colored stones is the way to go. Within the diamond space, yellow diamond is sort of now become the hot new color and pink in its own league. So every bride, you know, wants to make a mark in her own way, and what better way to do it with than with a, a stone that's with you forever? Wow. Very pretty. All that glitters is not gold is so true in Dubai because it's also platinum, emeralds, rubies and keeping with the trend, what's glittering the most for me is the family of colored diamonds. Spending an afternoon in one of the world's largest retail gold markets, you know exactly why Dubai deserves to be called the city of gold. For those with finer tastes in life, it's not just about making a statement, but exceeding expectations of your guests. Dubai is not only a great destination for your pre-wedding shopping, but also for a larger-than-life wedding and there are absolutely no dirt of venues. The brand new Palazzo Versace Dubai could be a great option if you're looking to tie the knot in style. My journey for a pre-wedding holiday on Dubai Diaries is about to come to an end but not before I give you another great tip inspired by the city of Dubai and trust me this one is a biggie for every single wedding. In a wedding, it's not just about your clothes, makeup, how you look or the gifts. A huge talking point is always the food. In India, we have massive buffets with all kinds of cuisines. To make your function a little different, you can consider including the Emirati meal. An Emirati meal will add tikkas with an Arabic twist or khubs to add to your bread selection and which guests wouldn't like a regag, a traditional homemade sweet with a very thin layer of egg and lukimat, a deep fried ball of pancake batter drizzled with date syrup. Make it a meal to remember. Dubai, the perfect city where all your wedding dreams turn into reality. This is a magical city where you can mark a tick on your wedding checklist. On that note, it's a wrap on my chapter of Dubai Diaries. But don't forget to tune in next week, same time, for more. Goodbye. Here are the top shopping attractions of Dubai for your next holiday. Tune in next week for your weekly dose of Dubai Diaries.